rather than selecting just one market you can actually select multiple markets using BetAngel and to do that you need to use the Guardian tool. The Guardian tool allows you to select and work on multiple markets regardless of whatever you're doing in the foreground so BetAngel will work on a market in the foreground and Guardian will work on a market or markets in the background so to fire up Guardian you just press the G um, Guardian will come to the fore. I'll just resize this so we get a full view of this on the video. And then you can see the market selection screen over here. I won't describe Guardian, that will be done in another video. I'm just going to describe the market selection. So the market selection works in a similar way to that which you have with a single market where you can select individual markets. You can also do a search. So if I search for England, it brings up all England. Uh, all markets containing the word England or I could bring up England and soccer and it will bring up everything with England and soccer or I could bring up Nadal and tennis and then you can see it will bring up the appropriate markets from there. The quick picks um, in Guardian work different from the main screen um, because what we're doing here is nominating markets so if we go into today's horse racing and click add what that will do is it will add all of the days racing to Guardian so you can see all of these markets are now populating in Guardian and the screen underneath here shows you the odds unmatched bets match bets any automation that's going on um, and a log related to that market so once you add a market to Guardian all of these things can work in the background you can flick back to your main screen um, and all of that will continue and then you can monitor it through Guardian. Now for football we've got a, a dedicated area so for example if you wanted to do tennis if you did um, tennis and match odds and pressed search you can see it brings up all of the match odds to do with tennis so if we mark all of those and drag and drop them we have all of the tennis odds immediately available to you. Very quick and easy way of doing it. What I'm doing here is select all markets, remove selected markets, that gets rid of that and for soccer we have a because we have a dedicated soccer profiling tool we have an additional uh, pick list for soccer so what we can actually do again we can do the search uh, within here can, you know search for matches containing England and so on and so forth and you can also do show matches supported by Soccer Mystic and then we can search from there so these are all the fixtures on the uh, on these in, on these particular days and what you can do additionally here on top of what you can do in the other pick lists is you can right click so if we right click here you can see it brings up a list of options available select all match odds, all correct score, total goals, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half goals and so on so if I do select all match odds you can see it's selected 43 markets and then I can click on add and that brings those into Guardian so I've chosen particular markets here but there's no reason why um, you just can't go in and add all of the days racing, all of the days football, all of the days tennis. Uh, you know, you can add in as many markets as you like. Um, and the only limitation on that is how much memory you have, the processing power, all of those sort of things. Obviously, you know, it doesn't make any sense to go mad and add in 10,000. But you may want to actually be looking at lots of different types of markets. And you can do things like sort by volume as well. So if you add in a whole range of markets, sort by volume and then you can identify markets that could be of particular interest to you so you can see here the two standout volume leaders uh, Poland v Russia and Greece v the Czech Republic um, but this is how you can select multiple and, and masses of markets into Guardian and Guardian's really handy for dumping loads of markets into and then fl flicking through them sorting through information and then automating using Excel or just having them in the background to collect additional information and um, that's how you select markets on Guardian.